Hey everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Dan. We're the Hustle Couple coming at you today with Mondays, but except it's Tuesday, ship with me situation. That's right. We hope everybody had a good holiday weekend. I know we did. It was our anniversary yesterday. Yeah, big number seven. Okay. Seven. Okay. We had tapas seven. and it was amazing and mm. champagne, the whole bottle. Okay. Sounds done. If you're new here, welcome. Hey, everybody. We're full-time resellers. We live in Dallas, Texas, and we come at you almost every day with a shipping video so you can figure out what's selling for us on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. We do list on Kitizen, Grail, Tradesy. Do yeah. we sell there? Yeah. Not yet. Yeah. No. It's fine. Okay, so we had 24 sales. We did <sighs> ship out uh saturday morning we've we been did. doing that and so this is between then and now it's about noon on we have to go really quickly today because our contractor left for lunch yeah he's here banging on the wall right over here <laughs> so he left and it's about noon so yep. it's about two full days and it's 24 things 12 i think are bangers how do you like that 50 percent banger rate that's great really good sales so some of them are not but here we go we're gonna pull pick list chip we're going to do other things. All the things. Let's go. Oh, we're not listing right now. We're list tonight. Okay. Ready for some clothes? You want to start with clothes? Yeah. 52, 41. 52, 41. This is a bin. We started pulling on camera just so you guys can see how long it takes us. Plush. Go. Next. Uh, 40, 54, 27. 54, 27. Okay, um, I'm skipping all the suits and purses. Yeah. 55, 17. 5, Let us know in a comment below if this annoys you or you love it, us pulling. We could take you back there, but it's all confusing and not very organized in a filming fashion. Got it. 1497. 1497? Yeah. And it allows me to do double duty over here, like make a plush list, etc. Okay. Five one one seven. Five one one seven. Okay. Okay. Two, three, six, eight. Uh, never mind, never mind, never mind. That's a purse. Um, what? Hold on one second. Okay. What did you just pull? I just, I just, just take it for 15 uh, uh, okay, good, good, good. Okay, uh, then the next, five, five, two, seven. Here, I'll organize it. Okay. The... <laughs> okay, what'd you say? <laughs> oh man, five five two seven. Fifty five twenty seven. Notice some things that we just listed. Some of these things are selling fast. Okay. Okay. Uh, fifty-five, fifty-three. Fifty-five, fifty-three. Yes. And then there's there's a there's another one that sounds very similar next. So okay. Just stay there. Did you get it? Yep. Fifty-five, thirty-five. Ooh. Ha ha. So we try to pull all of the same kind of thing at the same time. Last clothing, right? Uh, no. No. Okay. Thirty-four oh two. Thirty-four. 
These are our Poshmark sales. We had six. Okay, uh, 5550. <laughs> we had okay. th three plush sales. Okay, uh, and then 156. I know. Well, do you want to get 4398 first? No, I'll just get it. 156? 156, baby. Oh, we're having a. I'm trying to put these all over here now. Eleventh oldest inventory. Oh, ever. I love it! And then forty-three ninety-eight. Eleventh oldest inventory ever. Forty-three ninety-eight. Yep. We didn't sell anything on Mercari, which is interesting. Oh, you don't have to get that one down. I can't reach that. Nope. Forty-three ninety-eight. Okay, purse time. Many purses. We sold so many purses. We actually sold more purses than, you know, people haven't paid for them yet. We sold a lot of purses this week. More purses than ever. Than ever. Than ever. We don't really sell purses. Uh, but whatever purses we, we, we did list some recently and they just sold. Okay, 4398. Okay. Now it's first, first, first time. time. Oh, I didn't know this was a suit. Sorry. Okay. First time. Okay. 4516. 4516. Yep. <laughs> Everything's falling. Um, and then while you're up there, yep. 4473. I think that one might be the one down here. The one you fixed, but you didn't put it back or something? Um, yep. Is it this one? No, this is 4474. Oh, it's right here in front of my face. In front okay. of your face. I got it. Okay, good. Okay. So we fixed that listing and it sold immediately. Amazing. Um, 2368. What is that? It's a purse. This was in. Oh, Lord. Okay. All right. That might be. Is it like? It's the Eileen Fisher bag. Is it like really thin? Yeah. Okay, it's pro probably in the with the clothes. Twenty three sixty eight. Yeah. Javits bag that I fixed. Mm, yeah. Did you? I don't have a number on it. Oh, no. This, okay, this thing's MIA at the moment. It's that silver Eileen Fisher burst from the estate sale. Maybe it's 5368? No, that can't be right either. 4368? I can look it up. Um, Can you see if the Eric Javits bag is up there? We just listed it. Where did that stuff go? <clears throat> see if it's up there? I don't know where you put it. Like, we just listed stuff. This yeah. is one of the issues that we do have. <clears throat> is the, the freshly listed stuff that doesn't actually make it into the inventory. Like, we list it on, like, a Friday, and then... No, the, the Eric Javits is right here. Okay, you got it? Yep. Cool. <clears throat> this little Island Fisher one, though, is kind of a... It's literally escaping. Right. We don't have that many purses left. I, yeah, I know, but... It's oh, like, wait! Is that a bin? 
Oh, it is a bin. 2368. Ugh. Uh, what is wrong with me? <laughs> it's not in the bin. Oh, of course, it, of course not. But that's a bin. <laughs> Why is this? Why, Why would it be in a bin? Because it's little. It's not that little. Okay, here are, I'll just have to search around for that. Here are the plush you need to go get. Okay. Three plush. Thank you. We still have some suits to pull, but you could do those first. 2386, we have some ink cartridges that sold. Twenty-three eighty-six. This is from the Colorado bins. Okay, just trying to get everything out of here. I listed this immediately sold. Fifteen seventy-seven. A lovey. Oh, does he have both ears? Did I do this wrong? Make sure I have the right one here. Make sure I'm then do. Okay, this is sport coat, plush. We got the Javits, sport coat, and a hat. It's crazy. So we're just missing a purse. And like I said before, we don't sell many purses. It wouldn't surprise me if it were like with the shoes or something. We didn't really have a purse section for a while. This is also why we try to stop selling things. I don't want to say out of our niche because we don't have a niche, but things are a little wacky for us because we can never find them. If it's clothes or like little plush or whatever, we have a very clear system. But as soon as we start to like branch out from that, it gets a little iffy. So I'll have to look for that purse. But other than that, I think I think we have everything. We sold a lot of menswear too. Three or four menswear, I think. We only sold 24 things. So if I'm telling you we sold like four or five purses, four or five menswear, that's pretty incredible odds. And maybe take note of what is selling. <laughs> what? Flatjack. How did he get in there? Oh, I just listed him, huh? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, it's on his ear. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we have Flatjack. We have the crochet dog. <laughs> okay. What is our life? <laughs> Where is Knit Bill? Yeah, it's that weird looking bunny. Got it right there. Okay, and while you're up there, we have some suits to pull. I forgot. Okay. We're just going to have to find that bag. I don't think we sold it. So the thing about eBay is everything starts on eBay and gets delisted. Very rarely do we cross double sell something on eBay. I mean, almost never. I'll take it. <laughs> Y'all, <Yeah>, really? <laughs> really? This sold? Really? Okay. Suits and or... Yeah, the suits. Ready. All right, I'm ready. Uh... The Givenchy is four four three five. Four four three five. Four four. Where are you at? Four four three five. <clears throat> Did you check where the suits are for these for that purse? You did? I did. Mm. Four, four, three, five. Got it. Okay, and then Lombardo is 4081. Just had it. 
I gotta know how tall this guy is buying this thing. I know. <laughs> okay, and then there's a Chubby's hat in Hatland that I can't reach. Okay, and then I'm gonna switch off with you and go over here and look in Vendu for this purse. Okay. Oh. Find it. <laughs> Chubby's head is blue, right? Yeah. Okay. Good lord. Hi. Tripping all over stuff. Yeah, yeah. You know, it happens. <laughs> All right, we're going to try to find this real quick, and then I put Poshmark on, up on the desk. Okay, I can start with that stuff. Yeah, um... Huh. Okay. It wouldn't have gone into a. Mm, um. The same day, you know what was listed the same day that Chubby's hat. Huh. It's not in there, is it? I don't think so. Whew. It'd be really, really. Doy. No. Okay, so we had shoes listed 4226 and 4227 that same day. Okay, that's just like right here. So get on up there, <laughs> Spidey Man. Son of a... <laughs> Sorry, I need like a, a foothold or a stool or something. I can't just... People love it when you climb. Please be careful, though. Be careful. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. <laughs> He's going up. 4227... 4226 is right here. Yeah. And we got to start looking in boxes. Or envelopes. Maybe it's in a flat rate. Purple boots. There's some Todd's heels. That were the same day. Uh oh. Uh oh. We're going to open that guy. <laughs> oh, it feels light! It feels light! <laughs> Boom. Really? Yep. Yeah! So, 100% you're going to make mistakes. <laughs> we make mistakes almost every day. If you have a numerical inventory system, you go back to the date that you listed it, you look at everything around it, you can find your items, even if you've written the wrong number on them. We just freaking proved it. I'm telling you, we proved it last week too, which yeah. is why we started filming our polling, just so you know you're not alone. <laughs> right. But you are going to make mistakes. But if we had just a bin system and we didn't know what bin it was in, um, oh my God. I, no. We would have to search every bin. No, I would no. quit reselling. <laughs> I quit. I can already, I can feel the anxiety. Just oh, I just had anxiety trying to find that. Okay, this is what we're doing Okay, excuse first. me, my coffee? Okay. Hey, I'm not anywhere near your coffee. Don't 3402. Your <laughs> this is a Cupshe Maroon Ruffle Front Tie Neck Swimsuit. I believe I sold this for $12 because it's almost, you know, it's almost too late to sell these. Looks like it's a return. Bye. No, I don't think it was. Oh, you put I, this? I put that on there. Okay, then whatever. Uh, I think that was something from a, a neighbor or something. We don't normally pick up that brand, but it does sell for us. We've sold it a couple of times. We just don't go out and pick it up. Uh, okay. Yeah, like I said, I think $12, not great. I sold a lot of stuff on Poshmark because I did closet clear out. You know, I didn't sell anything during closet clear out, but I dropped everything 35%, everything that had likes, to try to get some sales going on Friday. All right. It didn't work. This guy sold on Poshmark, hashtag plush on posh. Yes, and I'm trying to figure out how much he sold for. This little guy. So cute. This sold for, y'all, yeah, I'm just scrolling. Past it. 
Can you write it down on the sheet next time? Oh, what it sold for? Yeah. I'm sorry. Here we go. I got it. It's just like once you're already there. $18. Yeah, I've got to pull it too. This is Pottery Barn Kids. It's a little dog. Eee! <laughs> so cute! It's a crochet dog. Pottery Barn Kids has a tag that looks like this. There's PBK on it. A little block. Cute. You can fit in this kind of. No. Why would you. Why would you know? I don't know. No! No! Just put them in one of those... Where's those squares? Yeah, the squaresies. Or put them in a padded flat rate. Let's just move on with our lives. Yeah, he's... You're right. Perfect. Let's move on Perfect. with our life. We don't have time for this. We got Ooh. time. Okay. And we can do that because it's Poshmark and everything Poshmark can go in any priority mail packaging, including the flat rate and regional rate stuff. And this is waterproof. I'm not going to put them in something else. Like, yeah. it's pretty substantial. Get in there, friend. Yeah, 18 is not bad for that. And those, for some reason, I cannot sell Pottery Barn Kids on Poshmark. I mean, what do you call this eBay. place? eBay. <laughs> it will not sell for me on eBay. So I just cross-listed it, listed it to Poshmark over the weekend and it sold. All right, number three. Chubbies. We've never found chubby shorts ever in our life. So we where you live... We found this chubby set. Yep. I don't know. I don't either. So we sold it. I think it was sold really cheap too. $14. <clears throat> well, see, one person put in a $12 offer and then someone came in and swooped it. I love that about Poshmark. They send out, it. you know, they send out a little, uh, what do you call it? Message? Uh, yeah, hey, like somebody just. Somebody put an offer in on that thing you're watching or whatever. It probably sounds more eloquent than that. And then people come in and they just scoop it. Yes. <laughs> okay. Anyway, chubby shorts are really popular, and uh, I know depending on where you live, you can find them. We cannot. Nope. I and, don't. Uh, this is way too big for that, whatever. It's posh. Yep. Doesn't matter. Nope. Doesn't matter. Hooray, hooray. hooray. It's just a hat. We're going to be fine here. So I have been working on Poshmark with lowering prices, cross-listing, that kind of a thing, and six things in two days. We also had three things go out, I believe. No, two things on Saturday. So eight things over the weekend is pretty good for us. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got it. Okay. <laughs> Next up is the Double D Ranch. Y'all, then we started listing this up live, and it was... High dollar. Yes, it was. This is a Paisley Maxi skirt from Double D Ranch. This brand is, man, we, we found a bunch of it in a state zone. We are super excited. Uh, it sold for 100 bucks nice. on Poshmark. I haven't sold any of it on eBay, but it sold for 100 Good thing I cross-listed it. Double D Ranch. I know I'm not doing the best job, but okay, here it is. So, yeah. The first thing to sell, we listed about 10 things so far. We still have more to list. I am getting low ball offers on eBay for some things. I'm just not going to take them. You're not going to take it. I know what I got. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know what it's worth. Sorry. Mm. <laughs> you got your things, I got one. <laughs> <laughs> Next, Next is uh, 156. 156. Nasty gal. God, we've had this thing literally forever. So here's what had happened. We went to the Dollar Day sale at, what is that place called? Uptown Cheapskate. It's a buy, sell, trade store. We bought all these things for a dollar thinking like, ooh, this was four years ago, okay? <laughs> we were like, yes, mama, this is whatever. It's only a dollar, even if we make 20. Don't do that. <laughs> If you have that mindset that I just said, and you were like, yes, mama, be like, no, mama, <laughs> no, no. If it didn't sell there. Here, I need a ticket. If it didn't sell there, it's not going to sell because no one wants it. There are exceptions, you know, regional yes. exceptions. So, like, if you were shopping in New York City or something, and they had some rodeo girl jeans from Miss Me or something like that, right? And no one in New York wear that style, but if you were in Oklahoma, people do wear that style. So there are exceptions to every rule. But by and by, don't waste your money. I don't need to use this. You feel what I'm saying, right, y'all? You feel what I'm saying. Don't waste your money. Check your sell-through rates. 
on stuff that people don't want. What is that? Because oh. that's what happened here. This is a dress. I didn't even show you. This brand's okay, but it's cheap. I did not know that. I was all like, oh, girl. We bought two things here, and the first one took two years to sell, and this one took nearly four years to sell it. And people are going to ask me, Amy, why didn't you clearance that out and sell it? I did. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I did. This sold for $12. <laughs> I have had this thing. I have sent... 56 uh, oh, man. I have sent $8 offers on this out. I have. And people are like, nah. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Please, don't do the dollar day thing. Make sure to check. Check yourself through. Oh, here's the cup sheet. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. All right. And that is our advice to... Here, you can finish doing that. To you. That's to you. Just so... Just don't go through the pain that we did. Learn from us, please. All right, last up. The Brooks Brothers... Forty-three ninety-eight Brooks Brothers Brooks Ease Loro Piana. This is nice. Yeah, this is nice. Um, Brooks Brothers does particularly well for us on Poshmark. I don't know why. I don't know. It does well on eBay too. Brooks Brothers in general does pretty well for us. It's not. I would say normally it's not over a hundred dollars. It's normally between fifty and a hundred. Yeah. This sold at seventy-five, right where we expected it to sell on eBay. But menswear goes on posh, too. It does. This is a classic navy blazer, I think, with gold buttons, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Yep. It's beautiful. Beautiful jacket. Very nice. We love selling on posh because we don't have to worry about shipping. If you yeah. don't know anything about menswear, this is what, what makes a blazer a blazer. It's traditionally very, very dark navy blue with gold buttons. Yep. Do you want to show them the Brooks Ease? Because that line does well for us. Yeah. But also the Laura Piana, because that's important. Mm -hmm. So here's the Brooks Brothers Brooks Ease. Yeah. Not all Brooks Brothers is created equal. And there you go. Laura Piana is the fabric. Yep. It's very, very good. Yep. High quality. Yep. So don't just go to the thrift store and just willy-nilly pick up Brooks Brothers. You want these markers. The Brooks Ease is a line. I think that is a little more... What would you call it? I don't know. Maybe a little more light, lightweight. Lightweight. I, but again, I haven't done, I haven't officially done the research, so I really don't like talking about stuff that I literally know nothing about. Well, I think in the, like there's in the HSM world, we do well with the gold trumpeter. You'll figure yeah. out certain lines, lines yeah. of brand. So it's not just about brand. And I think a lot of people that listen to what we say often just take it at face value. And I don't want you to do that. Right. All Brooks Brothers does not sell this well. Right, the combination of Brooks Brothers with the Laura Piana fabric, that, that's what made this thing sell, in my opinion. <clears throat> and don't just go out buying every single Laura Piana willy-nilly either. <laughs> willy-nilly. <laughs> I mean, it's if it's made with Laura Piana fabric and it has a Laura Piana label in it, absolutely look it up. Yeah. I mean, and ninety percent of the time, it's going to be worth picking up. But there is that rare ten percent, where even though it's nice and Laura Piana, it's just I don't know. we have a bunch of it sitting in our store. Ask me how I know. <laughs> okay, Where's that thing? there they are. All right, so now we're moving on to eBay. And uh, we sold a lot of stuff. Random stuff. <laughs> a lot of it was newly listed. And I just can't keep saying that enough. That's yeah, that's a much mark. Okay. Right. Is this the big weird bunny that's first yep. up? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is very large. How much does this guy weigh? Oh. This is gunned. <laughs> He's got weighted feet, so he stands up. <laughs> oh no. Okay, he weighs 1.1 1 .1 ounce. Can you see how much we charge for shipping? Because I'm pretty sure. Oh, one pound point one. Yeah, nice. one pound point one ounce. Oh. So with any kind of packaging, it's going to be probably. Yeah. Um, they paid $4.99. Uh, see, these are the times. Sometimes we mess up. I tell you guys, we, and they're like, why did you weigh? I try. And Where's sometimes. It going, though? Chicago? Eh. Man. 
we're gonna lose a couple bucks on the shipping of this and that's okay yeah. it's big and it wasn't the best buy they paid 16.11 for it but you know what there's nothing breakable on it yeah so we should be able to just one of our big bubs poly mailer i mean bubble mailer this guy they're up they're up there well, we oh we some got some bent down here i thought big... i did no I don't hear maybe. We, we have one. That's all we need. Yeah. Oh, false. We only have, you know, eight hundred. Yeah. Pals. It's all right. I can I can sneak in here and, and grab it. Okay. All right, buddy. Lion friends. So you're probably saying it's going to Chicago. Why don't you try a regional box? Because uh, the regional it doesn't a, weigh that much. Yeah, it's 9.27. Yeah. Which, I mean, like I said, we're going to lose a couple of bucks anyway, but I don't want to lose close to... <laughs> going in head first. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> these are our new bubble mailers. I can see us using these a lot. He just weighed like just over, you know? And so what I was saying is sometimes we make a mistake with these one pound point one ounce things. And we're willing the miss the couple bucks versus the hours it would spend us to weigh, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Like it's fine. We messed up. <laughs> this whole video is we messed up. <laughs> Hi, we're the hustle couple and we messed up a lot. That's gonna be the thumbnail. We're not perfect. God. <laughs> 1.1 1 .1 ounce, like really? Yeah, 1 point, yep. Gotta do what you gotta do. Okay. Vintage Coach Willis black leather shoulder bag. Very I was nice. super excited about this bag. And it sold for $169.96. Seriously? It sure did. Nice. Banger. Can you do me a favor and write down the dimensions of the bubble mailer? Yeah, ten and a half by fifteen. Thank you. Okay, so this bag, if you see this bag, so what happened was we were on a state sale. This is absolutely a bolo. And some of the state sale was okay. And everybody was going through the purses and looking at these like per furla, I don't know, ones that were like not that great. And I'm like Get out of the way. Dan's like, what? I'm like, give me that bag. It's all in slow motion. He's like, which one? I'm like, the black coach purse. And he's like, I don't see a coach purse. And I'm like, it's vintage. <laughs> this is exactly how this went down. And so he like reaches over everyone and he's like, yoink, grabs this bag. And while they're going through all these bags that are worth like nothing. Nothing. Because they were like early 90s. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Not trendy bags anymore. They were not trendy. Yeah. But they had the boxes and the dust bags, so people were all over them. And this poor bag was sitting by its own. So if you can find it, it has this a simple. I really want to other wipe this. <laughs> and I think we should put it in a bubble mailer. Not, that's not gonna give it enough protection. Got it. So it looks like a little messenger bag. Um, you make me grab another one. Yeah, we really need to. Why don't you just pull a couple of them out of there? Uh, I really just, I really want to, like, just give this a once. Where's my, oh, it's right there. Okay, first of all, there's, like, a little, I want this to be perfect, you guys, because. Oh, man. Oh, here we go. Y'all need to leave me alone. All y'all <laughs> judging me. There's a little schmutzy in here. I want it to be perfect. If you pay $169. Okay, right. You don't want someone else's schmutz. <laughs> Okay, anyway, the Willis bag looks like a little messenger bag, and it is particularly valuable oh. because people... Just take me a second. I know, I'm just giving you... Um, people love this bag. I love this bag. If, if it wasn't worth $170, you I would have keep it. Keep it. <laughs> I was hoping it wasn't worth as much as I thought, yeah. so I could keep it. The gold hardware is very simple. It doesn't say, like, coach everywhere, like the newer bags. Um, yeah. Highly recommend it. If you see something like this, it looks very simple, looking a little coachy. <laughs> a little coachy. Um, it does have the serial number inside. 
It's made in the USA as well, right? It's made in the US. Yeah, see. It's um, full grain leather in the inside. It feels and smells wonderful. And when you are at an estate sale and everybody's diving for the loser bags. And the fake Fendi's. They were, there was a fake Fendi there. <laughs> you dive in for the Coach Willis bag. Okay. Okay. Just doing a little. I want to write down this number in here. I think we have a picture of it in the listing. The serial number? Yeah, I just want to. Can I help you? Yeah, tell me what it is. Just tell you what it is? Mm hmm. I'm going to just Google it. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. L5B 9927. Can I wrap this guy up? Yeah. Sweet. So, here's the deal. This is why I wanted to type it in. There's ones of this listed on eBay for $95, $120, dollars $99, $145. I listed mine at $200 and then sent out offers. There's a perceived value here. If you only list it for $90, that's what it's worth. If you list it for $200 and send out offers and someone's like, ooh, I'm getting a better bag and I'm getting 20 or 30% off, awesome, I'm going to buy that one. That's our strategy. You don't have to listen to me. I'm just letting you know. That's why I wanted to look it up. The bag is slightly too big for even this guy. I have, oh no, it's not big enough for that. Are we sending this in a priority box? We can put it? Yeah. No. No, it's definitely not gonna. Okay, we're gonna have to bubble wrap it. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Anyway, so hopefully that makes sense. Um, it's the strategy we use with most luxury. We don't we don't do a lot of luxury, and I don't actually consider Coach to be luxury. But higher end brands that are sought after styles like that, we price high because people that are, you know this is someone's bag that they've been trying to get for years, and this finally came up. Our pictures were better than the ones that I just looked at, and um, we have the crossbody strap, which one of them didn't, so that's why that one was probably listed at 90. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm taking such care to send it in a way that it's going to arrive and look good. You want to wrap that and put that inside the bag? Yeah, I'm going to wrap this. Going above and beyond here with this guy. Yeah, I mean, this is probably... I don't mean that in a bad way. Just... Yeah, I think it's probably someone's bolo, and they've been waiting a long time for it. So yeah. I just want it to be really nice when they nice. get it. Nice. Okay. Okay, regional A box. There's a red version of this, and someone has it listed for four ninety five, rightly so. Wow. I want the red one, <laughs> y'all. If you ever find a red one, let me know. Let your girl know. I'd be interested. I don't even carry a purse. Who am I? <laughs> I put my phone in my back pocket, and that is it. And I leave my house. Goodbye. Right? But people right. are pursing it these days because we keep selling them, and maybe we should be purse people. Maybe yeah, right. The next thing is a t-shirt called Cruel Intentions from the 90s movie. Look at over here. It's all over here. Yeah. Boom. Uh, how much did we pay for this? Yeah, bins. 54 cents. This is from the bins. I think I bought it. I know that people love this movie. It's like a cult classic. So if it's 54 cents, we would definitely not buy this no. at a retail location. No. It sold for $16.96. It did have a bunch of watchers. And it finally sold, and I guess we listed it at 20, and we have a 15% off sale perpetually. It's great. We will take those flips. 
There you go. Be careful with like stuff like this that's like the Breakfast Club because they had a big thing at Target yeah, where they with all those 80 movies. Yeah. So just be careful. I looked up this shirt to make sure that yes. there weren't. We get to use one of our new boxes. Look at these. <laughs> All right, this is HP 932 Extra Long Black and CMYK Cartridges, expired in 2020. Uh, I got this on the Colorado bins in a bin of clothes. <laughs> there is something about HP going international. You need to be careful about that. I don't know. What, I don't know. I'm sorry, I don't know. I just know that there's something. I needed some bubble wrap or something. You can't just throw it in there. My husband, y'all. Just throw it in there. He just did you just see that? He just threw it in there. I was gonna put it in one of these, huh? No. I was just testing the size. Mmm, he was test I got oh you have something? No, that won't fit in there. You want me to put it in one of these bubble mailers? And then in there or not? Yeah, sure, waste. why not? It's kind of a waste, but it's a waste. Yeah, it's kind of a waste. Huh. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> Speaking of waste. Come on, guy. Oh, wait, I learned this on Pinterest. Oh, I yeah. learned this oh, on yeah. Pinterest. Yeah, yeah. So this, that, I, I was making the face of a meme that I had seen, and then I was like, what was that meme? When you cut your wrapping paper too short, you go diagonals. Yes. Yes. Did you guys know that? Boom. Learned it on Pinterest. Boom. Um, yeah, I'm having one of those days where I can't that. nice. wake up. You ever have those days? Yeah. You can't like shake off? Yeah. Can't wake up. I'm trying. All right, this is a, what size is this? This is a weird size. This is six by four and three quarter by four and three quarter. But you don't need to write that down this first class. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Nine ounces. When an eight, eight by six by four is too big, and a four by four by four is too small. Okay, I listed this. Okay, I need to make sure that this is the one with two ears and not the other one. This one has two ears. I know, I know, but I, I really think they, I don't, just give me a moment. Sure. Aiden, so tell them about the brand. Yeah, Aiden and Anais, am I saying that correctly? Uh, yes. It's Anais. In the English language, but in French, it's Anaïs. Anaïs. Um, so it's a lovey, and if you don't know what a lovey is, it's like a security blanket with a stuffed animal head, like, attached to it in the, in the middle. Most, okay, see, most I messed times. up. I messed up, I messed up. Did you pull the wrong one? No, I put the same number on both of them. Aha. Uh -huh. But I'm pretty sure the one that sold only has one ear. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that would be 15... 76 or something? I know, it's, yeah, it's right there with it. 1576. 1575. I knew no, it. No, no. I separated them on purpose. Oh, there it is. So that I wouldn't do this. And then what did I do? You did it. 1533 is the other one. Okay, now I'm trying to find... Okay, so it says... It says... Oh. It says... <laughs> what does it say? Giraffe is missing one ear. One, missing one ear. Okay. I got it. I found the one. Okay, so we had identical... They're pretty much identical. And look at this thing. I washed it. Did you know it. this is a giraffe? I know. Hello. <laughs> I thought it was a cow. Mm -hmm. And it looks pretty sad. Yeah, you want to show them the label? Yeah. So I had two of these, washed them, dried them, took pictures of them, even though they're well-loved. And, um, and then I listed them, and one of them's missing an ear, and the one that's missing an ear in looked worse condition sold first. Hmm. And it sold. Wait, wait for this. Stop yeah. what you're doing. Hey, everybody listen up. <laughs> this old ratty <laughs> thing that is clean but ratty sold for $39.95. Nice. In one day. Uh-huh. And, and I had two of is? them. I think I know why that is. Tell me why that is. Some kid somewhere, it was his absolute favorite thing on the whole planet, and he lost it. 
he or, or she, she lost it. Right, and maybe one year. So, but I, I so listened. the parents were in a frantic search. Oh God! <laughs> oh God! Oh, just please stop crying. <laughs> well, anywho, I listed the other one ten dollars more at fifty dollars because it had both ears. Had both ears. And you should have done sold. that backwards. You should have done the one ear at fifty bucks <laughs> and the two ears. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm just you know a lot of people would see this and say it's ratty. I would never pick that up. Pick it up. Pick it up. <laughs> we pick up every single lovey, regardless of brand. Regardless of brand or condition. Yes. This guy was missing an ear, and he's ratty. I just put well love. Don't put the word ratty. Don't do that. Just put well love. $39.95 plus $4.99 shipping in less than 24 hours. Wonderful. Also, Dan and I listed all three days this weekend. Okay. Hi. Did. Who are we? What is wrong with us? We are up in here listening on the weekend. Trying to stay consistent. I was hoping to get a little more for this because it's so cute. Stinking cute, y'all. <laughs> you can't even help yourself. This is Matilda Jane. It is a little dress. And I think there's a mommy version of this dress, which I didn't have. It sold for $15 plus $4.99 shipping. For, it's a size 18 months. It's so cute. I love picking up Matilda Jane. Sometimes you can get like 30 for it, but I'll take 15. What did I pay for it? Two dollars. Two dollars. Not my favorite flip. Okay, the next is a sport coat. Uh, yeah, yeah. This brand is called Givenchy, not Givenchy. We're gonna stop saying that as resellers. It's a French brand. Givenchy. You can do it. I know you Say can do it. Say it with me now, people. <laughs> if Dan can do it, you can do it. He be like, Givenchy. All right. This is, here's what it looks like. This is an older label for sure. I'm going to drop my coffee. Uh, definitely don't want to knock over the coffee. Uh-huh. There you go, everybody. Come on. I want some focus. There it is. Okay. All right. Uh, this brand of sport coat, this one was really pretty. It's kind of like a hound's tooth, and it's pretty coat. Yeah, like, it's got some blue and... But, even though the name sounds fancy, it's not our top-selling menswear brand by any means. No. This sport coat only sold for $35. Yeah. It's only worth about 50 So, just because it sounds fancy in the menswear world doesn't mean that it's that... Valuable. I mean, if it were newer, maybe. Yeah. Like... It's a, it's really beautiful. Yeah. I'm not saying anything about that. It just doesn't hold its resale value as well as some of the other brands. For sure. We sell vintage Burberry all the time for way more than this. Oh, man. Yeah. Ooh, this is going to be a little tight. A little tight. We got a hot dog in. <laughs> Where's this guy shipping to? Okay, he is going to MI, Michigan. Okay. Is Michigan the people worth a hand? Yes. <laughs> I'm from this part. <laughs> I love Michigan. I've never actually been there, but I know one of my uh, cousin's wives is from Michigan. He was like, oh, I'm from Michigan. I'm from this part. I was like, okay, got it. Yeah, it's from the regional. <laughs> regional A, right? Yeah. Anyway. yeah. Make sure it's not like this stupid expensive. They paid twelve ninety nine, so we should be good. Oh yeah, yeah we're good. Okay, the next thing is a purse, and I need you to check this purse about weight because it's going to Canada. A. Eh? Okay, which one is it? Forty four seventy three. It's the one you just fixed. So this hap this happened. The listing was messed up. For some reason, eBay didn't put our photos. We only had one photo that went in. And at one point, a couple of weeks ago, when we were listing, that was happening. And so the person messaged us and was like, do you have any more photos of this? There's only one photo. And we're like, dang it. So while we were in here working this weekend, Dan was trying to tend to some of the questions on eBay. And he took more photos of it because we didn't have them anymore. I need to see how much they paid versus how much I say it weighed because it's going international, and we really aren't experienced shipping heavy things international. It's not heavy. Please say I put one to two priority. Um, let's, let's see. I'm not sure you did. This is they paid 18. So 
Oh yeah, that's one. That's one to two. Okay. So, anything under two, between one and two pounds, going to Canada or any of our places has a flat rate on eBay. I can't get into it, you guys, but we charge what they're paying. All's good. Yes. Okay, because it's like one pound four ounces or something. But we do need to put it in a box. I right. I don't know if it can be a USPS box. I don't. I don't. I think it can. I, I think it can be a no. priority mailbox, just not a, like a regional, which is what it was in. So might as well just put it in, in another box, huh? <laughs> we're really, really not versed on international shipping yet. Because we're using eBay International. This is not going global shipping. You guys, we're trying. I just don't want to give you bad advice. That is the last thing I want to do. Right. So that's why I'm trying to like mums the word. I'm trying to be like, until we learn more about it, and then I'll be fine. We actually haven't even like cashed out. What does it mean? Like fully transacted an in international. Yeah. It takes so long. So we want to make sure we're not doing anything horrifically wrong before we tell you guys. Okay. <clears throat> oh, getting fancy. Well, it's taking a long trip, you know. That's true. I do want to put that in like a bubble now. So this bag, we didn't even tell you. This is from the brand Wanderers. Yep, Wanderers, Wanderers. Travel Co. Anytime I see a camel color bag that looks like it could be from Fry brand, you know what I mean? <laughs> Normally it's Fry, it'll be Hobo, Hobo, Able, or Wanderers. Yep. All of those brands are great. Yep. They all feel, the hardware feels heavy. The leather feels worn in and nice and kind of like boho. I always look these up. And we list these purses and they sell immediately every single time, no matter any of the four brands I just listed. Hobo, Fry, Wanderer, or Able. And they all kind of look like this with a crossbody strap. Contractor man might be coming back soon. Oh no. Um, Gotta hurry. It's gonna get loud. J Lo style in here. Uh, you're gonna ask if we can use an Amazon box. We do it all the time. Yep. I don't care. Ready? Yep. 11 by 8 by 4. One point twelve. All right, first up on page two, the Johnny was. Woo, woo. We just listed this. If you saw it in our haul, I got it for two dollars. This thing is beautiful. Beautiful tunic. Uh, it is going to go priority. We, yep. I remember making that decision. It's yep. lightweight, but we just want to make sure that we can put it in an envelope. We just want to yep. make sure that it like. I don't know. I feel like they treat priority packages better. I could be wrong. Flat rate envelope. Anyway, yeah. this is Johnny Was. It's a tunic. I know I've shown it to you before. It's gorgeous. Uh, we did charge eight ninety nine to ship it, just to make sure they took better care of it. insurance that's the other thing there we go all right next okay the next is a vanessa bruno silk dress with mm -hmm. hand embroidered applique oh my gosh this was mine i loved it so so much but it didn't really ever fit me correctly they did sell this at anthropology no it is 14.97 I've been waiting for this to sell a long time. I think the photos, it's an old piece that well, we have. I remember this. Yeah. The photos aren't great. Okay. Let go. <laughs> I 
and it is new tags, yeah. Oh, you guys, I can't even show you this. I mean, it didn't do well anyway. I think I got this off of ThreadUp. And I always wanted to wear it, but it just never fit, so. Here it is. <laughs> okay. And that was bad. It's really a gorgeous dress. It was in my closet for a long time. That's why Dan remembers it. I wanted it to fit. I, no, it's not going to go in. No, no, no. You can put in a bubble mailer. This is all too, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And it has the tag. Everything about it is just too fragile to... Okay. What was it called? Just put Vanessa dress. It's fourteen seven. Yeah. Or something like that. Yep. Seven ounces. Okay, there you go. The next is this bunny. Another bunny. The flat jack? Yeah. <laughs> and we just listed this and it sold very quickly. I would uh, definitely recommend picking up anything that kind of is flat like this. And we talk about this a lot. Any um, stuffed animal that's floppy or laying down. A little unique, yeah. We look them up. And this one is called a flat jack. And it's by the brand, I don't Some know. Some North American Teddy Bear Company, North, North American Bear Company, something like that. They come in pink and blue, and maybe another color. Yeah, North American Bear Company. And this sold for $50.96, mm. almost immediately. So within, I don't know, three days of listing it. The bin is still in our office, so that tells you something. Uh, <laughs> Dan's going to try to shove him into a box. <laughs> Eight by six. Okay, you do what you want to do. I'm gonna put him in a little bag here so he can make his journey. Yeah, for us, if you're paying fifty dollars for a plush, it gets a box. <laughs> Small box, but it gets a box. Thank you, sticker note. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. Thank you. Thank you for spending fifty-one dollars on this. I know, right? We paid one ninety-five for this. Yes. You know how long it sat on my desk? Long time. Bye, friend. <laughs> <laughs> Meaning that I didn't list it. It was there, but I didn't list it. I had to clean it with baby wipes, and so that presented an obstacle for me. <laughs> now, it's all good. 10 ounces. The next is an anthropology. I also believe this might have been mine, or I picked it, I don't know, I picked it up for myself. Yo, I can't wear rompers, because then when you go to the bathroom, I don't want to get into it, but it is not an easy situation. <laughs> so I stopped wearing rompers. This is a romper from anthropology it is an extra extra small petite which is my size and yes people wear that size it's sold for 20 bucks and 4.99 shipping there you go. thank you I was watching this one lady ship the other day. She has these really long shipping videos. Yeah. And it said relaxing in the title. So I was like, oh, I'll watch this before bed. And then I, and, you know, I started thinking, we should write relaxing on ours. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, oh, God, our hair is always on fire. Well, he's like, ah! <laughs> I wish we could write relaxing, you guys. I'm sorry. We, we're, we're just not there. <laughs> Eileen Fisher. There's a purse that was missing. But we found it. See, not relaxing. What if we put that? 
this was also an estate sale find. You're picking up on a trend, probably. South Dakota. That I pick up purses at estate sales. It's one of my favorite things to do. Paid $4 for this baby. It is metallic. It is, again, a crossbody. Same style as the other two purses we sold today. Mm -hmm. Are you picking up? So they have two pockets and a crossbody strap. This is Eileen Fisher. And uh, I'm telling you, this style is really popular right now. So if you have any purses like this, list them. Smells like leather. These, this strap is not detachable, so I'm going to do my best to wrangle it. Into here. Okay. There you go. Do this no, you can, I need that too. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so no, this is not going to protect the hardware. Okay, so this is going to South Dakota. Yeah. I do not know that that's best in that. You should check. It's nine twenty seven in this. And they're paid eight ninety nine. So, I mean, okay, I can... what? Should we put this in a flat rate envelope or something? We can, yeah. I think it'll definitely fit, even with the bubble wrap. A padded? Or a red? Either one. Just want it to arrive safely. Uh, this Eileen Fisher purse sold for $45, plus shipping. Right? Yeah. We need to go to more estate sales. <laughs> we're out of purses again. To read. This is another purse. Eric Javits also listed last week and sold. This sold for $22. Um, normally we'd get more for these purses, but this one was not in the, it's not in a hundred percent condition. So I took the $22 offer just to have the quick flip. Did sew the handles a little bit. This is called a squishy bag. He's really well known for this material. You would never think twice of looking at this at a thrift store until you picked it up and you'd be like, well, that's heavy. We've talked about this brand before on our channel. Highly recommend picking it up. Could I have gotten 40 for this bag? Absolutely, and maybe I should have. But um, I took $22 when sales are really slow. And sometimes that happens, right? Yeah, it's over a pound. Can we get it into this straw bag is over a pound, so that tells you it's pretty heavy. Kind of, I mean, you can probably stretch it. This is going to Missouri, yeah. Missouri. next thing is a suit and yeah first football one. player suit <laughs> this if you know anything about football this is jason witten's suit and we find a lot of football suits in dallas i don't know why i don't know why either not like a uniform like his actual suit this is lombardo the size was 48 extra long custom Platinum, made for Jason Witten, gray stripe silk blend suit. It's a very nice suit. Yeah, Lombardo is a custom uh, men's wear shop here in Dallas. Uh, we don't know if he wore this or how long he, I don't know. We have no, <laughs> it just says custom made for Jason Witten. Yeah, and the we'll size is the really, jacket. really large. Yep. Ooh, there you go. All right. 
cool. So someone had sent us a message asking if there was room to let out in the pants. And I will remind you that <laughs> the size was a 48 extra long. And so we went and found the pants and there is like four inches to let out. The inseam was already like 38 inches. So whoever is buying this suit <laughs> is very, very tall, fine. Yeah. But the issue is they sent us a half price offer. Now here's where, here's where we could have gone really wrong here. We'd be like, no, this suit's worth whatever we think is worth, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. We could have done that. <laughs> but but this size is so specific. Yeah, man. The How of in the buyer world? So it was. We we sold this for hundred and sixty dollars, and I don't know how much we paid twenty bucks for it, yeah. which is a lot for us. But still, turned it into one hundred and sixty, and we could have turned it into nothing if we had countered. Maybe you would have come up some. Maybe you wouldn't have done. So we were happy with that. Yeah, I'll take that all day long. All right, this is in a regular mailing box. It's going to Ohio. Ohio. Let me see. It's pretty heavy. Yeah, we might need to reach B. It's, it's over three pounds. Nine twenty. It's nine twenty-seven in an A. Let me see if I can fit it. If it'll fit into an A. Yeah, because so what what happens is anything between one and two pounds, you get charged a two-pound rate. I'm talking about regular postage, not regional. But this was three pounds, one ounces. So all of a sudden we're paying a four pound rate, right? So it's gonna be infinitely more expensive if we can't shove it into this box. <laughs> Welcome. I'm not really having to shove. Minorly shove. Just a little. Rejig, coming through. This is the time when you wanna check a regional rate because when it's heavy and it's, and it's put you into the next poundage bracket, regional is your best friend. We're going to have to reinforce that. We're using these priority mail stickers. They're great. They're free. You can use them on the edges of the boxes. It helps them stay together. There you go. Nice. Nice. Wow, that thing's heavy. Yep. All no right, no next up that. is what? More Eileen Fisher stuff? Eileen Fisher, Surprise. extra large, white, organic cotton. We actually just listed these. Yep. Oh no, 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 don't take them out. <laughs> this has to happen. It was the first thing you see. Okay. I have people out there that are always like, yes, Amy, thank you for doing the right True. thing. You're right, you're right. Even though Dan protests every time. <laughs> I just didn't want, you know, just like a little lint. Yeah. We use the extra stickies from Walmart. They're great. Oh, it looks like there's a little spot there. Okay, I'm not gonna look at that. Maybe we just close that. I have a faint memory of just closing that. All right, these sold for fifty dollars. Nice. Yeah. These sold overnight. Love it. These are uh, figs, scrub pants. You've seen us sell these before. We just listed these on Thursday, Friday. I don't know. They paid late. Anyway, they sold overnight, and they're the jogger style. We mm -hmm. got twenty-two dollars plus four ninety-nine shipping. That's pretty great because figs, those pants retail cost thirty-eight dollars, and we were able to get twenty-two dollars for them used plus shipping. That's great. This brand is amazing, and the sell-through is just. Incredible. I would, even though the return isn't, you know, a hundred bucks, it's still a great, great pickup if you don't have to pay up. What do we pay? Three bucks? Um, dollar fifty. Dollar fifty, even better. The next is a Brioni shirt. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're normally selling Brioni suit jackets. This is a shirt. This is our last item. It's a, and it has a little bit of ring around the collar. Not bad though. We just listed this one as well. Blue and white stripes. You're picking up the theme that we are selling stuff we've been just listing. While mm -hmm. Dan's doing the label, I'll do a little count. 
Okay. Um, this sold for 40 bucks. And I've read somewhere that menswear is trending towards sharp looking tailoring and suiting once again. Thank so. God. Well, our sales definitely have, have trended that way. I know, right? I'm just saying. Just saying. Okay, so we won. I'm going to count here. I got this box in, in my way. All right. I'm trying to get these labels printed. Two, three, four. Mark and see. Okay. 11, 12. 12 of the 24 items that we sold, sold in a day or two. Wow. So over, like, exactly half. That's crazy. To me, that's crazy. And that's not including the stuff that we sold on Saturday that was also flipping very fast. So... That's where you want to be. I'm telling you, that helps the algorithm so much. Yes, it's good to sell old things, but I think the algorithm really likes it when you're selling new things. I think you get rewarded handsomely. And now the contractor's back. I think we're going to finish this up just in the nick of time. Got this. Okay, purchasing on the labels now. <laughs> Bagpipes. Ready? Yes. Come on. Come on. Still purchasing. There it goes. All right. Okay, first up is the gunned standing big white photo. Don't forget we have international. Yes. So it gets off. When you're printing out international labels, remember I told you a couple things were going international? Oh, no, we're curling. Oh, no, we're almost out? Yeah. Uh, coach bag. <laughs> Knew it was gonna happen. We're curling. Do you want to describe what happens when you run out of labels mid print? Um, it usually remembers where it left off and it will pick up right where it left off. And I think it usually reprints the last label it was on as a precaution. Okay. We use Dymo XL Label Writer print, print, uh, thermal printer and we use Bet Key for, Labels for, for XL. XL. The Bet Key Labels are from Amazon and they're listed down below. We've used every generic label on the market and these are the best ones. I think this is the last Bet Key we have. 
So I can imagine us trying these crappy ones just to use them up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wasted a couple there, sorry. Oh no. Okay, there we go, we're back on, back on target. So, good thing. <laughs> so, I'm gonna have to reprint this one. Um, okay. Is this gonna... the international one? No. The reprinting one that messed up is really easy. Okay. This one is the HP Inc cartridge. Okay, HP Inc cartridge. Here you go. So always cross-reference the name of the buyer to yeah. make sure that we're not messing it up. The Aiden and Ladies. Johnny was flat rate. Yeah. Flat flat rate. Very flat. Feels like there's nothing in it, and it's only going to Rockwell. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we definitely could have done this first class, but it just when you pay a hundred dollars for something. Yeah. Um, Vanessa dress. Jack. Anthropology romper. Anthropology what? Romper. Okay. Um. I guess it's this one. Anthro dress. Yeah. Fisher bag. Uh, the Eric Javits purse. We got Javs. Right here. Thank you. Terry Bradshaw suit too, y'all. Yeah, we do. And another person. Uh, what's his name? Broncos. Huh? Broncos. Owner, quarterback. Um, I'm drawing a complete blank. Eileen Fisher, organic white cotton pants. Pigs pants. The Brioni shirt. Will you check the camera? My phone is right. We 
be good. Cool. And the international, the purse. Whoa. I know. It's a label. It's going directly to Canada. It will not pass go. It will not cover $200. All right. All right, everybody. I'm going to run all this stuff to the post office, and then we'll be back to see how our profit numbers look from the weekend. Yes. Hey. Okay. So, for the time between Saturday afternoon and Monday afternoon, or Tuesday afternoon, Saturday to Sunday, Saturday to Monday, so three days. Three days. <clears throat> yeah, I had yeah. to do that. Okay. We sold 24 items, which is pretty low for three days, because we normally sell at least 10 a day, so that's pretty low. Yeah. But it was twelve hundred and sixty nine dollars in sales, and seven hundred and fifty of that was profit. Sweet. So that's that's good. Our goal would would have been six hundred, two hundred a day. Right. Uh, and for the month. Damn! Look at that ASP. I know. That's crazy. ASP was crazy, right? I'll go back. Uh, the ASP was fifty two ninety one, which is the average sale price. Nice. So it's really great. Yeah. I did want to tell you a couple of things. I do want to look at the month to date. So far, we're at eight. 1187 profit for the month. So we've had over $2,000 in sales in five days. Excellent. That's great. Yes. Okay. I wanted to get into the habit of telling you about the profit we made on our items. Okay. Because I think it's important. The lowest profit item was 560 and that was the bunny, the one that, the big one, the one that was standing up, that yeah. was actually pretty low. And the reason for that is shipping. We messed up on the shipping. Okay. 606 on the bathing suit. 734 on the hat, 755 on the nasty gal dress, 927. I'm doing these in order. Yeah. Of the Matilda Jane Cruel Intention shirt, 1186 on that. The Pottery Brown Kids, we made 1231. This is all pure profit. The Anthro Romper, 1260. HP cartridges, 1382. Eric Javits bag, 1397 profit. Figs pants, 1467 profit. And the Traveler Wanderer purse was nineteen fifty four. Okay. Okay, so that's half. That's twelve. The rest of the twelve were over twenty dollars profit. Sweet. Uh, Which and, is kind of where we like to be. Yes. So the Givenchy was twenty four oh nine. Okay. The Brioni shirt was twenty four sixty profit. Yes. The Aiden and Anais was thirty three thirty one profit. Awesome. The Vanessa dress was thirty one seventy two. Eileen Fisher crossbody purse, $34.69. The Eileen Fisher pants, $38.76. The flat jack plush, $41.90. Awesome. Brooksy's blazer, $52.89. Yes. Johnny was tunic, $68.14. That's awesome. Double D ranch skirt, $71.93. Okay. Vintage Coach, Coach Willis bag, ninety-two fifteen, and the number one sale of the day was the Lombardo Jason Witten suit, which we said we took a low ball offer on, but we made one hundred and one dollars and sixty nine cents in profit on the low ball offer. You take that every time. Every That's time. Great. Uh, I also wanted to let you know that in the last ten days. Okay, it's going to be exciting. I can tell. I'm just trying to help people figure out what to sell because everybody's like, nothing's selling. Menswear and bags are selling. Yeah. For us, we have sold 15 pieces of menswear, included dress shirts, ties, and suits, and sport coats. 15 pieces in the last 10 days. Okay. Which is pretty high for us. Yeah. Four of those were ties. Okay. Like I said, I read somewhere that suiting and sharp tailoring are making a comeback Okay, so that's something to consider. Ties are relatively cheap no matter where you live in the country. Uh, if you're looking for brand, look for 100% silk. Do not buy a polyester tie unless it's a novelty print. Okay, there's my advice. Purses. We've sold 10 purses and or bags in the last 10 days. Wow. So we're averaging one a day, which is unheard of for us. We don't sell bags. Yeah, because we only have like a dozen maybe listed, if that still. Yeah, we have some over here that I pulled out of the death pile to list. But what I'm saying is that maybe since there, I was thinking about this while you're gone. Maybe since there's a recession or inflation, maybe our people are looking for ways to like jazz up their outfit without new clothes. Okay, okay. Something they can wear every day, like sure. a little bit more of an investment. I, if I were to go thrifting, we're not. But if I were to go thrifting and I was trying to get something cheap that I could up, 
what do you call it? Flip. Yep. I would I would be looking at men's ties and men's wear because normally that's pretty cheap and um and bags and looking for the bags that the thrift doesn't know to mark up because some of the brands like the Wanderer bag, the Eric Javits bag, uh, they weren't marked up. Right. Because the thrift didn't know about them Gotta and they fit, flipped very quickly. The Timbuk Two bag that we sold flipped very quickly. Yeah. Uh, so looking for those brands, I would spend my time researching bags and menswear bags too. Guys, thank you so very much for hanging out with us today. We really appreciate it. Join us also at 7.30 p.m. Central Time tonight, live listing on eBay on the other channel, which is linked down in the description below. Bye. Bye.